after winning the League 2 title at Broadwood last Saturday, the players took to the pitch to enthusiastic applause from the Balmore faithful. After a slow start to the season, the blue team kicked into gear around Christmas and have wrapped up the title with three games to spare. Jim McInally was without Brian Gilfillan serving suspension and rested Andy Rogers and Dean Cowie. James Ward signed nine of the current Albion Rovers squad last week as he looks to build for the new season. The home side had a half chance early on. Ross Smith's free kick breaking for Jordan Brown, but his shot was straightforward for Neil Parry. After only 18 minutes, Parry then saw red. Scott Rossi's ball out of defence was touched on by Fraser McLaren straight into the path of Roddy McAllister. Parry then bringing down McAllister inside the box and leaving referee Alan Muir with little option but to show the Rovers keeper a straight red card. James Ward sacrificed Pat Walker up front and on came Matt McGinley to face the penalty. Rory McAllister has been deadly from the spot this season and he made no mistake sending McGinley the wrong way to open the scoring. Peterhead doubled their lead two minutes later. McAllister releasing McLaren down the left. McLaren then cutting inside and picking out Ryan McCann to lay the ball into McAllister who found the bottom corner for 2-0. Neat layoff from McCann, and McAllister shot beating McGinley to his right. Rover's best chance of the half came from a free kick on the half hour mark. Scott Chaplin's effort was an easy take for Graham Smith. The blue tune continued to put pressure on the visitors' defence. Another ball from Scott Ross finding Jamie Redman on the right. Redman's cross was met by McAllister, but he couldn't direct it goalward. Another chance on 34 minutes, this time Ryan Strachan with the shot, but it was just wide of the post. It was constant pressure now from Peter Head. Ryan McCann driving forward and his 1 2 with Rory McAllister bringing a good save from McGinley. McAllister trying to engineer something from the rebound before Stephen Noble's cross flashed across the goal mouth and out for a throw. The visitors had a lucky escape at the end of the first half. Matt McGinley taking too long on the ball from Ross Dunlop's pass back and Fraser McLaren knocking it to Rory McAllister. It looked like McAllister would claim his hat-trick but Dominic Kennedy stopped the shot and prevented what looked like a straightforward chance to make it 3-0. Into the second half and it wasn't until midway through that chances came. Graham Sharp breaking down the right. Sharp's cross into the box helped on by Fraser McLaren and McAllister's snapshot going wide of the post. A long ball forward from Graham Smith was collected by Rory McAllister. McAllister picking out substitute David Cox at the edge of the area and Cox's shot coming off the far post. Jamie Redmond's header from Ryan McCann's ball back in brought a good save from McGinley. More chances for Peter Head. Ryan McCann with the ball forward and Jamie Redman was quickest to react. McGinley again with the block. On 
and 74 minutes was another great chance for McAllister to claim his hat-trick. Graham Smith with the long clearance and McAllister nudging the ball into Graham Sharp. Sharp's cutback left the goal at McAllister's mercy and he somehow managed to put the ball over the bar. Rover's only real chance of the half came through Barry Russell. Gary Phillips laying the ball for Russell to push forward and drive to the edge of the 18 yard area but his left foot shot was wide of the target. Blue Toon's next chance came from David Cox corner. Ross Smith collecting the ball inside the area but his shot was over the bar. Both teams finished the game with 10 men, Rory McAllister going down after this challenge from Matt McGinley. A nasty gash on the striker's leg meant a trip to hospital for stitches and Jim McAnally having already made three substitutions had no one left to replace the striker. The final chance of the game came in injury time. Tony Lowe with the shot that took a deflection off Alan Reid and McGinley somehow managing to trap the ball under his knees. Tunnel it finished, and next week sees Stirling Albion visit Palmoor, and there'll be a bit of history with the presentation of the League Two trophy to Peterhead. <laughs>